Hi, still with Krista, and I'm here to bring you another tips and tricks about custom interaction, which is about scaling the objects. Okay, let's get it. As usual, click interaction and then click here. Choose scale, and then choose between scale to or scale by. For now, I'm gonna choose scale to, and I'll set the size of the scaling here. Next, I'm gonna move to the delay movement, just like what I mentioned in the previous episode. As you click on the object, there will be a delay from the moment you click on the object until it starts to move. But I'm gonna skip this one. The next one is the move duration. It will determine how long your object scales up or down. Okay, I'll set this for 3 seconds. Now for the last one, it's the easing. You can set your transition styles here. See these examples for a better explanation. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay then, got it. If you're finished, don't forget to check and recheck. And if you're already sure enough, just click done. Let's click preview to see how the object scales. Now what about the scale by option? Apparently, if you choose this option, your object will always scale whenever you click on it. Let's get into it. First, let me change it into scale by, then have the rest of the settings exactly the same. Now let's click preview again to see how it turns out. Let's click on the object and it will get bigger. Click again and it will get bigger again. And again. And again. Up to this point, you might wonder, what about the example of the lesson? You're right in time. I'm gonna show you an example of the lesson about the sizes of Asian rhinos. Let's say I click on this taxes. Then, the rhinos will appear with different sizes. And when you're done, your students can compare the sizes between them. Show which one is the biggest and the smallest. And that's all for today. I'll be back soon with more exciting stuff to share with. So stay tuned and don't forget to keep exploring Assembler Studio.